Good morning, Cub families. This is Mrs. Bailey. I just wanted to take a second and explain to you grownups at home about our Candy Graham Valentine's Day sale. The kids um, have seen it on the Paw News this week. You'll be getting a call um, from Miss Steinhardt explaining it to you, but sometimes as a mom, I need to see it to understand it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So um, starting on Monday, um, February 7th, your student will be bringing home this piece of paper. It says Candy Graham Valentine's Day Sales. And so what this is, is your student, with your permission and your money, of course, can send candy grams to anybody in the school. It can be other students, it can be teachers, it can be staff members, anybody they want to. So what you need to do when you get this paper is sit down with your kid, decide how much money you want to give them, um, and let them make a list of everyone they'd want to send a candy gram to. Candy grams are 50 cents. So when someone gets a candy gram, they will get a sweet little note and a Valentine sucker um, from your child. So your first job is one, decide how much money you want to spend. Two, ask your kid who they want to spend it on and make a list. So let's say my daughter Josie names eight people she wants to send a candy gram to. So as her mom, I would fill this out at the bottom, my child's name is, and I would write her name. And then I would need to put that my number of candy grams purchase is eight. So I would put the number eight right here. Now, if they're each 50 cents, I would send in $4 in a bag. So then Josie and I would fill out her name that we want eight candy grams. I would put $4 in this bag and send it to her teacher. We will collect money all through next week. It has to be turned in. So let's say Josie does eight candy grams. I turn in the money. Her teacher is going to send me back eight candy gram forms to return. So then Josie and I would have to sit down and help her a little, um, especially if your kiddo is a younger one, you'll have to probably help a lot. But then they would fill out the actual candy gram. This is what their friend or their um, staff member is gonna receive. Who she's gonna write it to, the homeroom, who it's from, and then a message. They can write words, they can draw pictures, they can do it with pretty pencils or markers. They can make this look however they want. Now, if you are not sure who the homeroom teacher is, make sure you um, let their teacher know. So then Josie and I would sit there and we would fill out a candy gram forms, send those back to her teacher. So now her teacher has the money that we paid for and she's got the eight candy grams. So then our lovely PTO um, ladies are going to sort them all out and then they will be delivered to the eight people that Josie paid for. So I hope that makes a little more sense. So step one, decide how much money you wanna give your kid. It's 50 cents for each candy gram. Fill out the form with your child's name and how many candy grams they want. Send the money. Then you'll receive all the candy gram forms to fill out at home and send those back. And then it'll be really fun to see all the candy grams that are passed around. Okay, thanks. If you have any questions, you can ask um, your classroom teacher.